and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a pen that was sent to me uh, by Anoto, uh, which is a fountain pen manufacturer in the UK. And this is an Anoto Magna Plunger pen. So let's do an unboxing here now on camera. You can see here that this is actually wrapped up pretty well. And this is the out-of-box experience that you would get if you were to buy this pen from Anoto. So you can see here it's wrapped up in this lovely Anoto paper. It's actually got gold Anotos all over the paper. And then if I take the paper away, you have this box. And this is the Anoto pen box that you will normally receive and this is just a nondescript box really with the Anoto name here. Now if I lift the lid up there's a number of things that you get in here. To start with you get Anoto, Discover the Eternal and it just goes on about some of the pens that there are in the Anoto range. So you can see here, 1905, Rudyard Kipling captured the essence of modern day leadership in his poem. If his lines now grace the player's entrance to the centre court of Wimbledon Championship. The very same year, Anoto introduced the first self filling British made fountain pen. We believed that inventions were worth pursuing and challenges met head on whether you prevailed or not. And you can see here the some of the, the wonderful pens that Anoto actually do make. So you get that to start with. You also get a few other things. So this was one of the original Anoto adverts in 1920 for the Anoto pen. You get an ink blotter as well, and then another ink blotter. So you actually get two ink blotters, which is actually quite nice. So you can use that to blot up the ink. And then you have inside here this lovely Burlwood box. So let me remove the box, or the outer box, I should say. And this is the Burlwood box that it comes in. So you can see here it's a lovely lovely Burlwood box uh, got a lot of lacquer on it and it really does look lovely every Anoto pen comes in a box like this which I think is pretty pretty good so let me open the box and inside here the first thing you will see is a certificate of authenticity so this is the Magna plunger filler and this is number 17 of 200. So it's a 200 limited edition pen. Now you have a pen in a sleeve and then a tray. So if I remove the tray, you get a business card. With eternal pride, we entrust this Anoto pen to your custodianship. Custodianship lasts a lifetime, and that's why we offer a lifetime guarantee on all our pens. Activate your guarantee within 30 days by visiting anoto.com slash custodian. So, we have also Anoto, and this is detailing the hallmarks. So, an OPC is a maker's mark, a sterling mark, a finest mark, an assay mark, and a date letter. And then also you have how to care for your fountain pen. And it just goes through the various stages of, of care that you should take with your Anoto fountain pen. Whether or not it's just general care, the nibs, but also ink and filling. So this is actually pretty good. You get a lot with this pen. And then you have an Anoto 
cleaning cloth as well which is I will show you there you go so you do get quite a lot with this pen so I'm actually quite impressed by what you do get with it so let's put a tray back in or the drawer back in and then we have the fountain pen in this lovely sleeve and this is the pen so let me remove the box out of the way and this is the pen so this is the Anoto Magna Plunger Filler black with silver fittings or silver trim so it does actually come with with silver trims now it's a distinctive fountain pen in highly polished black acrylic it is complemented by sterling silver trims and is available in a limited edition run of 200 pens it comes with an 18 karat gold nib in a fine medium or broad and has a plunger filling mechanism the magna plunger filler is based on the style and shape of one of the most famous fountain pens ever made the Anoto magna of 1937 which is still claimed by many as the best fountain pen ever made the magna plunger filler has a sterling silver cap band bearing the signature of the plunger filler mechanism designed by Roger Wolf and you will see this here if I try to zoom in a little bit more you will see Roger Wolf's signature there which I think is a good and this is number 17 of 200 so I think let's have a look at some of the parts of the pen so we have this cap here and the cap actually is it doesn't really taper much but uh, you have the the finial here so let's start at the finial you have the Anoto logo there and then you have the clip and it's a lovely silver clip here and as I said the cap doesn't taper much but it comes down to this silver band with the engraving on the, the clip is functional uh, it is quite tight though I would say now it does have engraving on the body of the pen a note of the pen made in England now I know not everybody likes engraving on their pens but this is something that always used to happen on vintage pens and you still get it on a lot of modern pens today as well now the end cap here is just a blank end cap finial and obviously on the cap there you have the Anoto logo so let's unscrew the pen from the cap now one thing that's different here is Anoto actually have different size nibs so this is a number seven nib not a number six nib not a number eight size nib it comes with a plastic feed that you can see here and this is a medium nib now the filling system as I said earlier on is a plunger system and this is the plunger system here so it's actually quite unique and it's unique to a noto and the plunger moves very smoothly on the upward it's very smooth it almost feels like it's not working but then when you push it back down again you have a lot more tension and then you can hear the thud when the ink would rush into the pen so let me just do this here so you can see the full plunger there you go so it's actually quite a nice filling mechanism it's going to hold a lot of ink now in terms of the size of the pen 
it's actually a really good size in my hand. Now, it is also quite a lightweight pen, but you can actually, if you want to, pay a little bit extra and actually have a uh, brass cylinder fitted inside the pen. You can also actually add other things like you can have a Nibmeister customization for £75. And you can have the nib ground to how you would like it. You can have your pen engraved for £35. You can also have an additional roller ball attachment for £45 for this pen. So this pen actually retails at £799, inclusive of, of VAT. Uh, if you are outside of Europe, then you're looking at £665 for this plunger filler. Now, can you post the cap? Yes, you can. And the cap actually posts quite securely. It does make it pretty long, though. It's not a, a, a pen that I would normally post. Normally, I will only post caps that are actually either shorter or the pens are shorter. But if you wanted to, this does add a bit of weight. It does add a little bit of back weight to the pen because you do have a silver clip here and a silver cap band. So that does add a little bit of weight. Once you have some ink in it, though, it's not going to be too bad. So I think let's do a size and weight check here. So in terms of size, we are looking at 145 millimeters in length. The cap is 67 millimeters in length. And then the body to the tip of the nib, we are looking at 127 millimeters. So that's bordering on getting to or or just about being an oversized pen for me. So let's do a weight check. The full weight of the pen, and this is uninked, is just over 31 grams. The cap we're looking at just under 14 grams. And the body, we're looking at just over 14 and a half grams. So this is actually quite a lightweight pen. So let's do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have a Pelican M800 Ocean Swirl. We have a Pilot Vanishing Point in the Raden. We have a Mont Blanc 146, a Mont Blanc 149, we have the Enoto Magna Plunger Filler, black with silver trim, we have a Parker Duo Fold Blue Chevron, we have a Pilot Custom 823, a Conway Stewart Churchill, a Stipula Etruria, and a Twisby Vac 700R. So I think let's ink up the pen. Today I'm going to ink this up with Parker Quink. And this is the blue ink, Parker Blue. And here you can see the bottle of Parker Quink. So let me unscrew the cap and unscrew the body. Now, I will try and not make an inky mess. So, we pull the plunger back, submerge the ink, uh, the nib in the ink, and let's see if I can get to see this so you can see it here. There you go. So let me put the body back on. So, we have the Anoto, and this is the 
Magna Plunger Filler. And it is an 18 karat gold. And it is a medium nib. Now, the ink that we inked up today, as you saw, is Parker Quink. And it's the blue. Now, in terms of line variation here, this puts down a medium line, which is really how you would expect it to do. Now, you can push a little bit more, and I'd say that's almost bordering on a broad. It's almost double the line width there. And you can see here the figure of eights. There's quite a bit of line variation going on here with this nib. And it is an 18 karat gold nib. Now, I'm not going to push it any further than that because it is a gold nib if you do push these hard sometimes you can spring gold nibs now in terms of the wetness test let's have a look at this now you can see that's quite a wet pen this is an a5 notepad so for me i actually do like how this pen writes it's a very wet nib for me and this is as you know if you've watched any of my previous videos i do like very very wet nibs so for me i'm not getting any skipping any hard starts although i have just filled the pen up but this is a very nice writer for me and I have tried some Minotos in the past and I do like how they write the only thing that I would say about this pen for my personal preference is the pen is a little bit on the light side for me now I know most people like lighter pens, so so this is a personal preference for me. But this pen is actually quite a good writer. I do like that the pen is a very glossy black. I like the silver trims. I think the silver trims actually really do accentuate it. And I like also the, the logo here as well. In the finial, in the cap finial there. And I do love that it's got a plunger filler. I do love plunger fillers or vac filler pens. So for me, this really ticks all of the boxes. The price though, it's £799 including VAT or £665 excluding VAT if you're outside of Europe. So it isn't a cheap pen. However, it's a well-made pen. Everything on this pen shows quality and for me I do like that and I know a number of people that do have a noto pens and I have tried their pens and I have used them and I have always been impressed with them and I have asked them to bring their pens to pen clubs on a number of occasions so will an a noto pen be in my future quite possibly they have a lot of really really nice models and for me I keep going back to the Anoto table at the pen shows and at some point I probably will buy one this is the review of the Anoto Magna Plunger Filler the Roger Wolf thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video bye bye